How capable are Ukraine's armed forces against Russia's today? Let's take a look. Ukraine has about 200,000 military personnel across its forces. That's large, but tiny when compared to Russia, which has around 900,000 regular military personnel. Ukraine, though, has around 900,000 in reserve. Now, those are people who have been trained to a military standard in the last five years. Again, though, they are dwarfed by Russia, which has around 2 million reserves. On the equipment front, the Russians are also in a much better position. The Russians are in a position to be able to mount a major military action in Ukraine any day now. They have more than six times the number of tanks as Ukraine, with 13,367 to Ukraine's 2,119. They have also almost seven times the number of armored vehicles as the Ukrainians, with 19,783 versus Ukraine's 2,870. And they have more than three times the amount of artillery. Those are large weapons like howitzers, cannons, mortars, many of them operated by crews. In the air, again, it is a similar story. Russia has more than 10 times the number of helicopters and fast jets. The Ukrainians do have over 400 surface-to-air missile launchers that could target aircraft, although this is still only a tenth of the number possessed by Russia. And Russia has an anti-aircraft missile system that many analysts say is the best in the world, the S-400. NATO call it the Growler. It uses long-range missiles to destroy airborne targets with a 400-kilometer radius. And it gives Russia a defense system against foreign aircraft. Russia's military dominance over Ukraine is greatest at sea. In 2014, when Russia invaded Crimea, it captured most of the Ukrainian fleet. And so Russia now has 74 warships and 51 submarines. And it has experience using them in conflict. Russian warships have launched cruise missiles from the Caspian Sea against Islamic State targets in Syria. Hybrid warfare is something that Russia has mastered in recent years and would almost certainly be a factor in any conflict with Ukraine. So cyber attacks, for example, targeting Ukraine's national infrastructure. So Ukraine versus Russia is something of an uneven comparison. But the numbers do become more favorable, though, when you factor in NATO. We don't uh, know what will happen, but what we do know is that Russia has amassed uh, the biggest uh, force we have seen in Europe for decades. NATO has said that it will not send in ground troops to defend Ukraine because Ukraine is not a member of NATO. Instead, they are giving assistance at arm's length. But there are around three and a half million military personnel if you add up all of the NATO member states together. And so NATO against Russia in military terms is a far more even contest.